This is the 3D animation of the technique. A transperitoneal approach is used. The capsule at the junction of the bladder and prostate is incised. We enter the bladder, place a suture through the adenoma for retraction. The capsule is cut and the enucleation is performed. Ultrasonic shears are used laterally for hemostasis. The mucosa is brought down to the urethra. The catheter is placed and the capsule ought to be closed. In a similar fashion here we are opening the plane just on the prostate at the junction of the bladder. A combination of sharp and blunt dissection is used. At this point, we've entered the bladder and continue our dissection to develop the appropriate plane between the prostate and capsule. A vicral suture is placed through the adenoma for retraction. Dissecting in the appropriate plane results in bloodless surgery. Electrocautery is used laterally. This area is known to result in bleeding. Final attachments are released. A catheter is placed. This allows for clearer identification of the urethra and precise excision of the mucosa. The specimen is freed. The adenoma is intact. The specimen is placed into a bag. We then place sutures laterally to achieve hemostasis. A stitch is placed through the distal mucosa. A 
and then pass through the trigone. This brings the bladder down. The catheter is placed into the bladder. After additional reconstruction, the capsule is closed in a running fashion. 